Tired of seeing these AI videos that look more like a seizure than an actual video? They even charge you money for it, which is ridiculous. Well, today I'm going to show you some free, yes, you heard it, free tools that can actually generate smooth, realistic looking videos like this. They can do text to video as well as image to video. Let's jump right in. All right, this first tool is just amazing. It's called Pika and it's currently totally free because it's still in beta mode, so take advantage of it. It's basically like a mid journey, but it can generate videos. I'll paste in the invitation link to their discord, but once you're in, all you need to do is go to one of the generation rooms, find one which is not crowded. So here you can see there's only like one person in line. Well, there's two people now, so we can create one here. All you need to do to create a video is type in slash create and then space. And now you can enter in your prompt of whatever video you want to create. So let's try this coral reefs, fish, vibrant. I like to put 8K ultra sharp and intricate details just so the video can spit out a higher resolution or at least more details. And then for the aspect ratio, you can do hyphen and then AR and then input your aspect ratio here. So let's do 16 to nine and that's it. Simply press enter. And then we simply wait till the ones before us are complete and then it's gonna generate our video. All right, and here's what we got. Let's see, let's click play. Wow, this is insanely good. This is really realistic and the objects even move around. Like if you played around with some of the older AI video tools like Kyber or Runway, they're not really coherent, but this is just so smooth. It's really at a whole nother level. Something to note is that you can only generate three second videos so far. But anyways, to download the video, simply click this button. All right, we can test out a few more videos with the same prompt. So all you need to do is click refresh. And if you scroll all the way down to this thread, now it's going to create another video with the same prompt. All right, let's see the video now. Wow, that is just so cool. So let's again, let's save this. If you don't find a video that's a good fit, it's important to try generating a few more with the same prompt because it can be vastly different. Another cool thing I wanna share with you is you can also convert an image to a video. So again, we are going to type in slash create and then enter in our prompt. Uh, before we do that, you click on plus one more here. And this is where you can upload an image to convert into a video. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this image into here. And I generated this in stable diffusion. Basically, it's a dude walking down a cyberpunk street. And then for the prompt, we can say, walking down cyberpunk street, night, dark, ultra wide angle from behind. And then we're gonna paste in these keywords as well, just to give it a tad bit more resolution. So again, 8K ultra sharp, intricate details, and then the aspect ratio is gonna be 16 to nine. And then let's see what it gives us. And in all these generation rooms, you can see the history of what others have created as well. So you can look at their prompt and get some inspiration from that. This is pretty interesting. Let's see, actually, <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but let's play this. Wow, well, it's a super realistic guy and th the frames are so smooth. This is just an awesome tool. Alrighty, let's see what it gives us. Wow, very smooth and he is indeed walking down the street. You can see there's even another person walking out this building. The frames are super smooth. If you played around with other video generation tools, they're kind of choppy and the frames aren't really coherent, but this new one, Pika, it's just mind blowing. So again, to save this to your computer, simply click download. All right, the next tool is called Zeroscope. This is the easiest one out of all the tools I'm gonna show you today. You literally just enter in a prompt, click submit, and that's it. This is also completely free as of today. So let's try it out. You can see it's giving you like a default one as an example. So actually let, let's just try that out. So Darth Vader is surfing on waves. Let's try that out. And simply click submit and see what we get. This can get a bit congested and slow if there's a lot of people using it. So if you have a nice high-end GPU, you can actually duplicate this space and run it locally on your computer and it should speed things up a bit. And here's what we get. Let's play this. Wow, that is insane. This is like literally Darth Vader surfing on waves. 
Something to note is there's no watermark here compared to the other tools, which is great. This is completely free, but it's only fixed to a 16 to nine aspect ratio. So to download it, simply click this download button at the top. Let's try something else. Let's try one of the prompts that we used before. So man walking down cyberpunk street from behind night dark. Let's see how this performs. Okay, let's see what we get here. Not bad, not bad. So there you have it. A dude walking down a cyberpunk street at night. So like I said, zero scope version one, this is the simplest tool you need for text to video conversion. You literally just enter in a prompt, click submit, and then it would spit out a video. There is also a version two, which is also free for you to use. And a few differences between this one, I think the quality is slightly better, but it's a very subtle difference. Like you need to test it out to see which one you like. There are also a few settings that you can tweak, which you don't see in version one. For the seed, this is the same as the seed in Stable Diffusion, so it defines the starting point of your video. Even if you have the same prompt and the same settings, if you change the seed, it's going to give you a completely different video. Conversely, if you want to generate the same video, you got to have the same settings and retain the same seed value to generate the same video. For us, we are just going to select this randomized seed, so it's going to give us a random starting point. It doesn't really matter in our case. The number of frames, I believe this is 24 frames per second. So if you set this to like 48, it's going to double the duration of the video. In our case, we'll just leave it at the default of 24. Number of inference steps, this is the same as the steps in Stable Diffusion. So each step is an iteration of training. The more iterations you have, the more defined your video will be. But at a certain point, it's not gonna get any better. And if you like set the number of steps too high, you're just gonna get some artifacts and a lot of noise. If you set it too low, it's not gonna be defined enough. So let's just leave it at the default of 25 and see what it gives us. So let's try the same prompt. Let's try Darth Vader surfing on waves and see what we get. Here we go, here's Darth Vader surfing on waves. Yeah, this is literally Darth Vader surfing on waves. This is really good. Let's also try the cyberpunk one again. So I'm going to copy and paste our prompt that we used before and then click generate video. Again, same as Xeroscope version one, you can actually duplicate this to your computer and run it locally if you have a good enough GPU. This could speed things up a bit. And there you go. Let's play this and see what we get. Wow, this is really good. You can see the motion of the people walking are very realistic. So let's go ahead and download this as well. So that's it for Xeroscope. All right, this next tool is really interesting. This is called Layapix, and it converts your image into kind of like a 3D animation. You'll see what I mean once I show you the result. First of all, let's upload an image. We are going to choose this guy in a cyberpunk city. And then it converts the image into kind of this 3D animation. And there are different settings that you can tweak. So for example, animation length, let's set it to six seconds. And then animation style, this defines how the camera is pan. There's a lot of different options that you can play around with. Let's go with perspective. And then the amount of motion, you can change it to, you know, a lot of motion, which distorts the image quite a bit. Let's see what regular looks like. It's still a bit distorted here, so let's leave that to the least amount of motion. Focus point, you can set it to close or far. It's just a subtle difference, so I would just leave it at center, which is the default. And then edge dilation is how much room from the object's edge do you want to preserve? So if you shift it all the way to zero, you can see that it's shifting within the object as well, which is what you don't want. And then if you drag it all the way to 1.5, then it's kind of too far out from the object. You can see like over here, it's shifting the road, the buildings as well. So I think a 
A nice middle ground for this example would be one. And then there's also some advanced settings. So you can shift the frequency and the amplitude of all the different dimensions. So X, Y, Z dimensions. We're just gonna leave it at the default. And then for this example, you can see some artifacts, right? Like this animation, it's distorting the buildings in the background as well. So we wanna get rid of that. So what we can do is in depth map, you can actually customize the depth of this image by painting over the areas. I will give this a shot here. So we want this to be farther away. So it's going to be darker size. This is the size of your brush hardness. If it's too soft, then it's just, the edge is going to be fuzzy. So here's what it looks like. And then if you drag it all the way to the other side, if it's hard, then it looks like this. And this is what we want, right? Because the background is pretty far away from the object. So I will undo that. Let's go ahead and paint just this hand area. And let's paint over here as well. Okay, so let's save this and see what it looks like. You can see it kind of fixed the issue here. It's There's still some distortion, but it is what it is. All right, so we can go ahead and save this. Simply click share, and then we can save it as MP4. I specifically chose that cyberpunk example first because the background is quite complex. So it makes it harder for the algorithm to detect the edge of your subject versus the background. If you use an image with a simpler background, then you'll get much better results. So let me upload another example. We're gonna use this image, which you can see the background is a lot cleaner. It should be easier for this program to isolate the subject from the background. You can see still a few artifacts over here where her hair is. But overall, this looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and save this one as well. We'll save it to MP4. You can see the background here is still a bit complex. So let's try an image with an even simpler background. So I'm going to upload this one here. Now you can see it's super smooth. You can't see any like edge artifacts where her hair is. This is super smooth and yeah, it looks like an actual video panning around this model. With such a simple background, you can even play around with the motion and other details to make it more extreme. So let's try dragging this all the way to the highest amount of motion and see what we get. So it looks like this, yeah, it's still, it's not bad. It looks like, you know, someone is actually zooming in on this model. It's super realistic. Here's a circular motion. Here's a wide circle. Yeah, this tool is awesome, especially if you have a simple background. This whole thing is seamless. Like you can even see the hair. It's just moving around perfectly. Really awesome tool. Now, if seizure like AI videos are your thing, then you can try this one. This next tool is called Genmo. Let's first of all sign in to get started. All right, once you are in, you can see that you're, you have 200 fuel points. And I'll just show you what that actually means in terms of the pricing. So there is a free plan where you are given 100 fuel points per day, which is more than enough. So let's go ahead and start creating a video. So the first step is we need to create an image. We need to create the first frame of the video. We can either upload an existing image or create one right now. So let's just do that first. We'll set the aspect ratio to landscape and let's do fish swimming in coral reefs and see what it gives us. Now that we've generated an image, the next step is to use this as the starting frame for our video. So we just need to click into this and then let's see caption. We can leave it as is the rest of the settings are pretty self-explanatory. So let's just leave it at the default and see what we get. We just need to scroll back up a bit and click on make video. Alrighty. So here is our video. You can see the quality and the motion aren't as smooth as some of the previous tools like Pika. You can see like the fish aren't really moving. They're just in a fixed position, but the designs are changing. So this is kind of what you get with some of the older AI video generators, but it is what it is. 
To download it, simply click on download. So let's try another one. This time we will upload an image as the first frame. Let's go with this cyberpunk guy in the city. And you can see it auto-generated the prompt and negative prompt for us, which is great. We don't have to like copy and paste anything in. And then for the settings, let's just leave everything at default. And that's pretty much it. Let's click on make video. Something to note is that when I started, right, I had 200 fuel points and then I made the fish swimming in the coral reef video. And now I'm left with 182. So one video of 2.5 seconds cost me roughly 18 points. And again, you're given 100 new points per day. All right, so here's our end generation. Let's open this up. So you can see same style as the previous video. The objects aren't really moving anywhere. They're just remaining in a fixed position, but the designs are slightly changing. This is the style of some other tools like Kyber as well. If you like this style, then Genmo is for you. That's it for our top free AI video generators. Here's a recap of the results. And that is all. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, we built a site where you can search for all the AI tools out there. Check it out at ai-search.io.